Congratulations, GCSE Computer Science is now over and now you can forget about it. Unless, obviously, if you do A-level. But hopefully, paper one, paper two went well. And in this video, I just wanted to make a quick reaction video to paper two. So thank you for everyone that let me know how the paper went and what type of questions that came up. Generally, everyone found paper two um, slightly easier than paper two, which is Obviously, if you know anything about last year's paper, paper two was harder. So I'm glad that OCR listened to the students and made it a little bit easier. Having said that, topics we saw were trace tables, defensive design, SQL, and some questions on maintainability. And yeah, generally everyone found it easy. However, the last question. So let's talk about the last question. I'm not too sure what it was. So one of the subscribers wrote down what the question said, and I've, I've tried to make the question up here. And I tried answering it as well. So first thoughts, I thought that you should use a 2D array because that makes more sense. You have one, one column for the scores, one column for the team. However, you're not supposed to know how to add elements into a 2D array. So then I was like, hmm, there must be a simpler version. So here is my answer. And as you see, there are two initial variables which store the highest score and the highest team. Then we have a while loop because from the second bullet point, it says that it stops when the condition is when they enter stop. So before that, we need to obviously take the input from the user. We ask them what team we want. Then we go into a while loop. And while that is not equal to stop, that's going to be our condition, our stopping condition. While that's true, we're going to ask them to input the score. Now this score, we compare it to the highest score which we initialized at the beginning. In the beginning, we can initialize that to whatever we want, which is a low number. So minus one, minus 100, whatever. So once they put that score, we're only gonna update that if, if the condition is score is greater than highest score. So if we enter a score which is larger than the currently set highest score, we're gonna update that value and we're going to also update the corresponding value for the team. Now, we keep doing that, we keep doing that until you write stop. Once you write stop, we'll um, basically print out whoever got the highest uh, team, followed by the highest score. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not saying this is the only answer. However, you're not supposed to know append functions. You're not supposed to know all of these advanced um, things that you can do with arrays. I know some people use the max function, people use like some crazy sorts of things which I saw in the comments. However, you're not supposed to know that. So this is the way that you can answer the question knowing the pseudocode and the things that they taught you. If you were to use arrays, that would be straight away an A-level type of question or even a university type question. I remember seeing one of these questions in one of my first year uh, coding uh, modules. Basically, this is how you, I would answer this question and hopefully it makes sense. Now, let's talk about grade boundaries. So grade boundaries, as people found this paper easier, perhaps it might be in between, it might be slightly higher. I don't expect it to be too high because we still need to balance out the grades um, from the previous years. So having said that, well done for everyone's hard work in, in uh, computer science and hopefully the hard work pays off. And let me know in the comment section if you're going to be doing A-level computer science and if you want me to make more content on A-level. However, a massive thank you to everyone that supported the channel. If I have helped you in any sort of way, please do subscribe and like this video and like all the previous videos. It just helps the algorithm out. Take care and have a brilliant half term. Make sure you're revising, make sure you're eating, make sure you're sleeping. I do have a paper one walkthrough coming soon for 2024 the paper. So stay tuned for that. What's next is we're going to have more and more A-level topics. And yeah, continue to support the channel. Even if your GCSEs are finished, I recommend you, you staying subscribed because there's more funny content to come on this short. And yeah, anything computer science related is going to be on this channel. Take care, guys. And, and good luck with all of the remaining GCSEs you have. I'll see you next year, probably.